There was once a great cat named Professor Mittens, who is the source power of the Thundercats. It was during this great struggle that Professor Mittens boldly laid down his life for the greater good of the Thundercats. After his death, we the greatest scientists in the class were tasked with locating the source of Professor Mittens' power. Alright, so um, we're here now narrating our video in order to help you guys. We're going to guide you through our journey into finding the power source of Professor Mittens. Very long, difficult journey. Took about a quarter, and you know it, it was a good, good learning experience for, for the world, for the Thundercats, but more importantly for us. Although we didn't find the power source of Professor Mittens, we did however find the ac Acromio Trapezius, the Levator Scapulae Ventralis, the Teres Major, the Triceps Lateral Head, the Triceps Long Head, the Triceps Medial Head, the Brachialis, the Clavodeltoid, and the Anconius. So at first, we were a little shy because it is a dead cat and of course of the great Professor Mittens, but as you can great. see, the great, and as, but as you can see, Connors got very used to the cat, so we become more comfortable, and now we're just exploring freely, searching for a source of power. just looking at more of the cat and as you can see here this is the latissimus dorsi it was around this time that we realized we didn't know enough about cats so we decided to do some research <laughs> here's, here's, some, here's a cat hugging a baby kitten it's, it's showing compassion because you know we, we think of these creatures as just brutal brutal animals fighting each other for no reason but we found proof they also love. So right now, we're just looking at the pecto antibrachialis, pectoralis minor, pectoralis major, symphy humoralis, the good stuff. Um, these muscles help the cat move. Some more of us dissecting. Just looking at the chest. This actually takes place before the first video. It doesn't really matter. Um, you know, we're just we're just kind of looking around, saying, what should we do with this cat? We got this question. We got to answer it, and we just don't know how. And you know, yeah. And we got that random song change. You know, we could have just played that new JB song like four times in a row. Been like Sanjay and Tina. But we thought, no, it's time to go hard and play some Waka Flocka. 
Bye-bye. So as you can see clearly labeled here, this is the urinary system. Uh, you can see the urinary bladder, the ureters, and the kidneys. So finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, we finally realized how Professor Mins was so powerful and decided to cut it out because it was too much powerfulness. It's, it, it was his kidney. You see, when Professor Mins was a boy, he was beaten up and they took out his kidney. And the other one was such a strong kidney that it grew twice in size and gave him the power, the power of Thundercats. And, you know, we learned through cutting his kidney in half that enlarged kidneys give pain and swelling in irregular urinary patterns. So even though we were all sad that Professor Mittens was dead, he was actually in a better place because he wasn't, you know, experiencing those irregular urinary patterns because who wants to live that kind of life? Here's us cracking it open. This, if you, if you were there, you'd feel the power that this kidney put off. It's hard to describe in words other than beautiful. Here's his intestines.